This is Jose Trujillo once again. Let me see my hair. There we go. <laughs> I'm a fine art artist. I'm coming to you from a corner of my art studio where I package some of my work. It's a little late right now. I don't have a watch. I just know it's late. And I just wanted to make this video today uh, to <clears throat> touch on something that I believe is very important. Okay. This is something that I learned and I didn't know. Uh, how did it come about? I, it, it's just one of those things that you, you know, instinctually, you just don't trust yourself because you don't have um, the experience and maybe an authority to tell you, you know what, this is this is the way this game is. Okay, this is how these things work. In regards to uh, to your art career, okay, whatever your 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 art thing is, um, this is the notion that. You don't have um, enough creativity, you know, that you, maybe you're in a, in a block somewhere, in an artist block, or you, you, uh, in a rut, you know, or, or whatever people call it, you know. Um, you, you may be feeling like, like you can't move forward because you don't have enough creativity or because you don't have enough time or, you know, whatever, uh, one of those things you you put there, right? Whatever, whatever that is. Maybe, maybe you ran out of ideas, subjects to paint, or you know, whatever your thing is. I don't know. This is what I want to tell you. I learned this thing. Um, it's it's just one of those things, right? So I'm gonna say, it. you have to commit. And I know that it's it's one of those. Uh, you can't go soft on it. There's no, there's no soft angle. This is not like, like first number one, you do this. Second step, you do that. No, you have to commit. If you don't commit, you will not find the answers. This is, it's, it's something so. I mean, you know, until you, you get it, until you get it. It's one of those things. I learned this from a sales expert named Grant Cardone, and he, he, he says it very, I, I believe, very intelligently. He says, he says, uh, creativity follows commitment. Meaning, right, commitment is, is at the forefront. It's the first thing, right? Uh, if you don't develop the muscle to just be committed and not think how you're going to do things, just say, you know what, this is my goal and I'm going to do it. If you don't develop that, your gaps of artist block or or just being irritated because you don't have enough time because that's part of creativity too telling yourself you don't have enough time it also has to do with creativity because you're you're trying to figure figure you're thinking ahead you're trying to figure figure how where you're going to allocate time and i don't think that that's the way things are done the way things are done is that you just you jump on them you you jump on them now you do it now and if you don't develop that muscle to just jump on it and start doing things, you will never get to the point where you're like, oh, okay, well, mornings work for me to do this or evenings work for me to do this. If what you want to do first is make sure that you figure it out and then once you have it figured out, this is a huge, huge mistake with any type of artist or musician or whatever. We first want to figure it out. I still struggle with this shit, you know? First, you want to, I, I, I want to like, Figure out, like, oh, okay, what, what painting am I doing today? What time am I doing it? That's not how it works. And, and, I, and I get it. People want to schedule things, but most of us that tend to over-schedule things, uh, I, I don't want to offend anyone, but I'm talking about my personal experience. And I've seen other people that work the same way. You don't get, you don't get stuff done. You just don't. You, you you don't you 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 get stuck in the in the in the figure figure you know you paralyze you start going you even get yourself a new planner you even get yourself a new alarm clock or whatever it is that, you know you're struggling with and it, it's always it always comes down to one or the two right I don't have enough creativity I don't have enough time I don't you know they they both they're kind of cousins they play together and the reason I believe it's because you're trying to uh, you are trying to figure everything first and you want to have like an idea of what it's going to look like. What is it going to be? And you can't figure that out. It's like trying to figure out how deep uh, 
the depth of a pool if it doesn't have numbers without jumping in you know you will not know what depth it is how deep it goes you know or, or body of water you will not know how deep it is until you jump in until you go in you get wet and then you're like oh okay well here's a little shallow here's a little deeper and here is like you know just <laughs> it goes to the other side of the world that's how uh that's how things work you cannot figure figure them you cannot sit there and be like um how do I, you know, I'm going to commit. I'm really going to commit, but let me first figure it out. No, guys, like, don't do that to yourself. I, I'm telling you from personal experience, this shit still happens to me. I still have to go through it every day. It happens in one variation or another. Um, I still haven't mastered it. I still work at it daily, daily, daily. It's something that I work at, something that I, I tell myself, you know what? I'm not going to allow that to happen. And, and it comes and visits me, you know, like it's, it's, it's really your mind. It's really what it is. Your mind is trying to protect itself and you don't want to move even a single finger because you're afraid. See, what happens is that you've been burnt before and you have this idea that you overworked or you overdid something because you've been burnt before. But the only reason you've been burnt before is because you never fully committed to begin with. And I know it's hard to swallow. And I know that maybe some of you may be like, dude, you don't know what you're talking about. Believe me, I do. Because I believe that we're all in the same journey. And some of us, um, some of us have seen a little bit, you know, uh, a little bit over the water and then go back in and then go back. But <laughs> that's me in, in, in this, in the art stuff. I feel like I get my eyes out and I'm like, oh, look, there's possibility. And then go back again. And, you know, some people just stay under the water a lot. And they're not able to see that. And I want to talk to people who have stayed in the water for a long time and, and, and tell you guys, look, there, there, there is, there is that possibility where the gaps are become smaller and, and you don't have to go, I don't know, a year, uh, maybe, maybe less, I don't know, maybe it's a month, maybe it's, maybe it's whatever, you know, a whole month of artist block. Or a whole year before you start what you really want to do because you don't have enough time or because you don't you don't have enough you know you haven't figured it out or you 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 ran out of creativity and you need your creative juices to start coming in the way the creative juices come in it's it's not because you sit there and you journal about it and you start certainly some of those things play in the part but it, but it's not that it is not that and it is certainly not that alone it, what it is is that you start moving towards your towards your goals. You start moving. Let's say you wanna you're a photographer and you wanna do an exhibit, right? Instead of going and, and trying to figure figure well, what am I gonna do? What galleries accept my type of work? No, it's like you're driving. You see a gallery, boom! You stop and you go talk to the person and you tell them, look. And maybe what you do is that you you know you keep a portfolio with you in your car or whatever. However, it is that you guys you guys talk uh, about your art? Um, I don't know if you guys do. Uh, you carry your original prints with you or you carry your laptop however you do it you talk about your artwork uh the wrong thing to do this is to be like oh that's a great idea what jose said it was a great idea i'm gonna go ahead and put together my portfolio and then take a whole fuck year preparing your portfolio you know it's it's you don't do that it's 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 just uh it happened to me and it's so uh it's so painful to 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 because now, now it, what starts happening is that you start looking uh, to, to like, where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? You didn't go wrong anywhere. That's what I, that's what I learned now. Like every day it happens in, in, in subtle ways. And now I'm, I'm starting to think, look, I didn't go wrong anywhere. What happens, what happens really is that I don't fully commit. So if you don't fully commit, you don't become creative. That's really what happens. And most of us don't fully commit most of us kind of you know we just kind of jump in a little bit or you know we don't fully immerse ourselves into our whatever it is that we're doing and whatever you're thinking you're you're doing um learn that you're not you may not be doing enough and, and i know this is hard because i'm a full-time artist and and for me to even tell myself like i'm not doing it enough no you may be doing enough of, of something but not enough of of the the package itself you know the 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 training, learning, and 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 uh, being diligent, not 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 being uh, in 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 the whole idea of, of I don't have enough time. Well, if you don't have enough time, figure it out. Maybe hire people. Maybe you know do what you need to do, but you got to commit. See, it's not going to come out first. It's 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 sort of like the whole saying of the cart before the horse. 
the horses, right? You got to put the horses in first and then the cart would follow. It's such a fundamental, it's such a basic thing, but most of us miss it. What most of us want to do is we want to work on the cart. We want to make it nice. We want to make it work. We want to, because we're afraid that we're going to be doing brute force. That we're, oh, I don't just want to kill myself. Look, if you're not willing to go get dirty and kill yourself first, quote unquote, the creativity is not going to come out. I'm telling you this out of experience. And I know there's a lot of people out there who, who talk about doing it the right way, doing it smart. No, when you put the horses first and then you follow the, you know, the creativity follows, what happens is that you start becoming smart, right? You're not going to work like this forever. You start, but you have to fully commit. If you don't fully commit, if it, most people work like that forever, that's the fear. That's the fear that I'm talking about. But you look back and you're like, man, I remember when I did, I went and I talked to 10 different galleries and none of them wanted in, to do anything with me. And, and you know, and blah, 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 blah. Maybe because you didn't fully commit and maybe you didn't even talk to 10 galleries. Maybe you only talked to two. Or maybe you talked to someone who knew someone who knew someone who <laughs> knew someone who owned the gallery. And you told yourself, oh, the gallery system doesn't work. Right? Maybe you didn't go knocking on doors. I don't know. Maybe you didn't pick up the phone and you didn't talk to them. Maybe you just send portfolios. I used to do that stupid thing. I used to send portfolios, you know, because back in the day they used to tell us, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not old, but, but some years ago, um, people didn't do so much portfolios online or whatever. They, they used to, I, I, I'm, I still sent in the, 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 those slides, you know, the, the, the famous slides in your portfolio with your blah, 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 blah. I used to send that out. What, what, what did that, and not only, <laughs> what would that do for you? Not only did that do anything, nothing, nothing, right? I sent hundreds of them. Um, I never followed up. So it was like, like just kites, you know, just like messages in a bottle. Like, oh, please pick me up. You know what? That's not fully committed. You know, that's, that. Just, oh, yes, I did a lot of them and I worked a lot. Yeah, but you didn't fully commit. You didn't follow up. You didn't call. You didn't visit, maybe. Maybe if, uh, if, if I, I would have started with local galleries, maybe, maybe I send in a portfolio followed by a phone call. Followed by a knock on the door. Followed by a, hi, how are you on Facebook? Am I, uh, is this overwhelming? This is what it takes. This is what it takes, but none of us want to do it. It really, there is no secret to the success. This is what it takes. It takes that pounding, that pounding until that, until we soften that, until we soften that. And then it seems like it's easier, but it's not because it, it was first pounded, you know. And, it, and once that softened, pound it some more. <laughs> I'll leave you with that. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art artist. I hope that you guys get some value out of what I'm sharing here. This has helped me tremendously in my personal life and my business. And as I, as I mentioned, I'm still working on it. I'm still learning. So I'm sharing my journey with you guys. I'm not just, I'm not telling you, oh yes, I have right. This is how, you know, this is the way. No, I'm telling you, look, this is how I am doing it because this is what I'm learning now. This is, this is what has gotten me actually has gotten me real results, tangible results, okay? So thank you so much for watching. Till next time.